Hey guys, Bruno Jake here, and I wanted to give you a quick little review of Robert Drysdale's new book, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, The Rise and Evolution, From Valle Tudo to Carlson Gracie to Its Democratization. This is Robert's second book, and I think this one is better than his first. The first one was great, Opening the Closed Guard, which was um, interviews from tons of people from Jiu-Jitsu's past and present. But this book goes even further. This covers a hundred years of history of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, starting back in the, almost hundred years, starting in the 1930s in Brazil. And the thing I like about Robert is I don't see too much bias in his writing. Robert is half Brazilian, half American, so you don't get too much of a Brazilian bias. Uh, of course, he's a Jiu Jitsu guy, so would the story be different if you talk to a Judo guy? Yeah, it probably would, but you know, this is the best that we have. For now, I think this is the best jiu-jitsu history book ever written. Robert has done a lot of work, and um, just to be transparent, I helped him out with um, a review of the book, just corrected little grammatical things and spelling issues. Uh, so I read this months ago, but just recently I had a chance to go through it one more time and read the final product. And I think if you're a serious jiu-jitsu student, you owe it to yourself to, to really know about all of the fascinating details of how Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu became what it is today. This book kind of starts off talking about how uh, Jiu-Jitsu was shown in circuses in Brazil by members of the Gracie family. Uh, a lot of fake fights happened at that time. Uh, then he talks about basically how it became a rebranding of Judo. And um, there's a lot of coverage of Carlson Gracie, who historically has been probably on the short end of the stick in terms of publicity. There was a big split in the family, which you can read all about in this book. Uh, so some of the more uh, productive members of the family who were writing books and producing things kind of, uh, you know, didn't give too much credence to, to Carlson, but he, you know, he's done so much for not only the Gracie family, but also keeping jiu-jitsu on the map. You know, he fought a lot of, of fights. He coached uh, some of the best MMA fighters uh, ever. So, um, yeah, Robert uh, gives Carlson a lot of credit, which Carlson was due in this book. Uh, it goes on to talk about how the jiu-jitsu competition rule set was developed. A lot of fascinating details in there. And uh, then he goes on to talk about the expansion of the IBJJF, which I had a small part in making uh, all the live streams, you know, going back to 2009, I believe it was, when we made the first ever jiu-jitsu live stream. So yeah, there's a lot of really good content in here and it's a big book. Let me see how many pages it is. It is 465 pages. So it's not one that you're gonna finish in an evening. Um, I think any Jiu-Jitsu student, especially if you're a black belt, you should know all the details in this book and stop spreading misinformation. There's a lot of myths that Robert uh, talks about and kind of debunks. I like how it starts off here. The very, uh, almost the very first Part says, um, ready to go. I just had it here. Helio Gracie was the size of a hobbit, but he could beat Kodokan black belts, Lucha Libre champions, and giants too, often at the same time. So, it kind of just poking fun at some of these myths that not just Jiu Jitsu, but so many martial arts. You know, the, uh, the, the founder has is always referred to as a frail, sick person, but he developed this art and now he became super strong, so you can be strong too. You know, a lot of these things um, sound good, but when you really dive into it, you find that it's not so true. You know, Elia was a tall man, he was a strong man, and accomplished great things, but, you know, let's, let's keep it in reality, not fantasy. You know, there's so much reality that's fascinating, and many things that have been lost over the decades, but Robert did a great job of putting it all on here, and I hope this is not the last book we get from Robert. And I hope these books sell really well for him. You can get them uh, on buddhavideos.com. You can get this book and also his first book, Opening the Closed Guard. I think they both go very well together. So Robert, thank you for writing these things. We need more jiu-jitsu scholars out there keeping the facts uh, out on, in print and, and keeping making awesome jiu-jitsu books. You know, I love physical media and I think this is a great book to any, uh, a great book to add for anybody's library. So get it at buddhavideos.com. The Rise and Evolution of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu from Valley Tudor to Carlson Gracie to the Democratization. Thanks for watching, guys.